Hello. This video will assist you in setting up your AWS Educate account. For starters, you need to go to the following link https colon forward slash forward slash aws dot amazon dot com forward slash education forward slash aws educate. It's at this site you will find the following link to create your student account. For educators, you will need to secure your account using a credit card. And that's when you go through this uh, link for Apply AWS Educate for Educators. For this demonstration, this will be, we will use the student account. For a student account, you can secure an account, an AWS account, without the use of a credit card at all. If you do have an AWS account, that's fine. So click Apply for AWS Educate for Students. Next, you need to identify your role. For this demonstration, we'll be creating an account for a student. So I am a student is clicked. And you select Next. Step two, fill out the application. You'll need to put in Colorado Tech as your uh, institution, United States, city, Colorado Springs, field of study. Field of study is irrelevant, but for this demonstration, we'll say computer science. Then you need to fill out your first name and your last name. Then your, your school email account it is important that you provide a valid current email issued by the school. So put in whatever your email account is. Next, very important. If you already have an AWS account, you could put it in here. If you select, I don't have one, it will then prompt you to create an account and you'll have to secure that account with a credit card. For our purposes, you will not need to do that. Instead, click here to select an AWS Educate Starter account. Now here's the caveat about a starter account. An AWS Educate Starter account is a free capped account that doesn't require a credit card. There are some usage limitations, including a 25% reduction in access to AWS services. Applicants selecting an Educate Starter account will not receive AWS credit code either. The AWS credit code, if you recall from the previous video, was a $100 credit that's granted to you annually from Amazon Web Services. They will then provide you with a code that you'll put into the billing section of your account. But for our purposes, we will not receive that. Grade level, unless you use a credit card and you, uh, and you uh, secure a full AWS account. For the grade level, put in the grade level that you are currently in. It doesn't matter if you're a doctoral student, still put graduate. The graduation year, you put in the year in which you anticipate that you will graduate. This is because this account will follow you for the entire period while you're enrolled in school. And then the month. If you have any promotional codes, you can put the code in at this point. Next. You'll select the next key. At this point, an email will be sent uh, as, as uh, we need to verify your email address and provide you an AWS Educate applicant application before we can process it. We sent an email address verification message to your mailbox at, for this demonstration, I did smithj at coloradotech.edu. Now I need to just check my email 
uh, I would, should receive a, a email message, a welcome message with a verification code. You will then put that verification code in here, followed by I am not a robot. And then you'll select next. After this, you should, you should have your uh, AWS account and you will receive an email that looks like the following. The first email you'll receive will be a thank you for applying for AWS Educate. It will look similar to the screen, to this screen. Once your application has been approved, you'll receive a congratulatory email similar to the email you see on the screen now. The key things to, re to remember is you can click anywhere where it says click here to set your password, to sign in directly, and to, uh, to um, go to the AWS Essential Training. That concludes this video.